it's way different compared to like traditional education. Of course, you need to know some theory, but if you're running like through a five year, five year master degree or something like that, like that's a lot of theory where most of it, you don't really need it. Of course, you learn some different areas and, st and stuff like that. You get more complete. But if you just want to get into soft engineering, solve business use case, it could be that you want to do freelancing, get into jobs and so on. Like you can do it in a different way. Like some people, like as you mentioned, you probably have some, some different guys as well that just took the course, got into positions and so on. If you can talk about some, some guys act like going through that pipeline, you can start with the basics. Like you can learn programming, as I mentioned as well. It's all about like building software systems and so on. So it's easier to go get into AI from software engineering than the other way around. So if you're just starting out like with your course, doing the front end, doing the back end stuff, you have a very good understanding of like how do systems actually like work. And then you can build like the AI program on top of it, where do you like, okay, freelancing, how do you stand out? How do you build a personal brand and so on? And then you pretty much have the complete package. Exactly. And you're going to be so competitive if you do that, because so many people that get into AI, like they start with the goal of like, I want to be an AI engineer, which is fine. But if you come in like day one, you've never written a line of code and you're like, okay, I want to learn AI. What's going to end up happening is you're going to get all of the theory. You're going to learn about all the algorithms. You're going to do all the math, all of this like PhD level stuff. But then you're going to get into the real world. All you're going to know is like some basic yeah. Python scripting yeah. and like a few little libraries. And you're not actually going to be able to make anything that's deployable that people can use. So like you said, if you want to be an AI engineer, engineer is the keyword here, you have to have all of the software engineering skills as well and then add AI afterwards, which is kind of the route that I went when I was learning AI. And that's why I'm doing a lot of AI stuff now. And I find it's like super easy for me to build like cool AI applications, even if the AI component's not that complicated because I know how to build all of the other software components that go for into sure. it. For so you want to start with all of those fundamentals for sure. You can also be learning AI at the same time, but definitely focus on how do I be a good software engineer and then take those skills and apply that into really any niche that you want, oh, yeah. obviously AI being a, a key one right now. Yeah, for sure.